Hey folks, Aaron here from Aaron's Practical Reviews. And today we're looking at the Canon 85mm f1.8 USM old lens. Now when I say old lens, uh, this lens came out almost 20 years ago. And I've owned it for about a year now and used it many, many times. So I have quite a bit of experience with it. And uh, let's get right into some of the strengths and weaknesses of this lens right off the bat. Okay, for starters, I'm filming with it right now. It's all the way back across the room, and which is good because it is hiding one of the biggest flaws of this lens, which is this. This is video with no microphone. I'm yelling across the room to it. But watch this, as I get, as I stand up and come, listen. Clearly, it's not a lens that you would use for a video with the onboard microphone. I'm using a microphone that is clearly over here. The first knock on it is that if you were looking at it for video, okay? But let's be honest, at 85 millimeter f1.8, odds are it is being purchased as a portrait lens or a walk around lens for photography, okay? So with that being said, Let's get into some of the key points to this lens that I thought made it very useful. And the f1.8 85 millimeter is a fantastic focal length and a fantastic aperture for portraits, indoors and outdoors. So let me show you some examples here indoors. As you see there, it creates a really nice bokeh. The room does not have to be well lit. Those photos are just my kids in front of the Christmas tree sitting there with no no lighting whatsoever, just the, the room light. Okay, so here are some photos from outdoors, uh, just walking around, and here's some of the image quality that I get from it in just your everyday walk around situation. Now, as far as macro photography goes for this, it is a decent focal length for it, you would think. However, the minimum focal distance of this is 2.8 feet. So, that's not fantastic for a macro lens. Uh, and you, if you wanna take advantage of that f1.8 aperture, you're probably gonna need some extension tubes, which I have actually used this exact lens with some extension tubes, and I got fantastic results with that in the macro photography. So let's look at some images here and compare the this lens on a T7i versus a full frame 60 Mark II and compare and contrast. And I'll let you see and let you decide if you can see any differences between them. But I find that on most EF lenses, uh, the full frame camera tends to be a lot sharper than say the entry level T7i. However, on the 90D, let me show you some images there, compare these. So I felt the newer image sensor and the more megapixels of the sensor on the 90D actually did a much better job uh, sharpening up the image at f1.8 than the T7i did. So take that for what it's worth, I guess. So this lens has no water sealing or weather sealing whatsoever. And also I'm gonna link it in the description below. It's coming in at around $349 currently on Amazon, which could change, it fluctuates a little bit. So if you wanna check that out, check the description below. So who, who do I believe this lens is for? At the price point it comes in between three and $400 usually, I'd say anybody would be better off having this lens in their bag. I've found that there's almost always a situation where this lens is useful in almost either walking around, doing your walk around photography, in portrait photography. This to me is a must own right up there with the 50 millimeter f1.8. I think in tandem, these two here are excellent for a lot of different situations. And I think they work well off each other. So that is my takeaway on this lens. I would absolutely recommend it. And at that price point, it's, it's something that if you buy, I think you're going to be very happy with most people would be. And as you can see here, the image quality is, it's as good as any lens that's made today minus the fact that it's louder than hell on camera. So if you can get past that and figure out a way around that, if you're into video, 
then you know you can get really good image quality if you're into photo you're not gonna have a problem with it and you're gonna have a, a ton of different uses for it so that's it guys that is my take on the 85 millimeter f1.8 highly recommended and uh that's it have a great day stay safe out there and uh subscribe if you haven't i'm gonna be making a lot of videos while i'm in quarantine here and as soon as i'm done with this video i'm actually going to start another video so stay tuned uh, keep an eye out for another video coming up soon. Thanks for watching, subscribe, and have a fantastic day.